out with the old and end with the new. It was a historic day for the University of Alabama, the implosion of Julia Tutwiler Hall. WVUA 23's Asher Red joins us live from that implosion site. Asher, you were there. Take us back. Well, Chelsea, thousands came to watch as one of the oldest buildings on the University of Alabama campus was torn down, and some even shed a tear. Tutwiler Hall stood high in Tuscaloosa's skyline for its final hours before 675 pounds of dynamite sent the 13-story building crumbling to the ground. And when you mix tall buildings with dynamite, you get this. But once the dust settled, all that remains are the memories and the new Julia Tutwiler Hall. Susie Curtis Sanders pressed the button to start the implosion process and says Tutwiler Hall will always have a special place in her heart. I know it is kind of sad, but things have to change. It wasn't up to being renovated any longer. Sanders lived in Tutwiler in 1982 with her roommate Sonia Green Hankins. Hankins says she had been emotionally preparing for this moment. I have to say bittersweet. This is the first time I've seen the new Tutwiler and it makes me a little sad to see it come down, but I'm kind of sentimental. However, the space once occupied by the old Tutwiler Hall has a bright future ahead of it and will be used as a courtyard when students return to campus in the fall. The cleanup process will begin on Monday and the 50-year-old concrete used to build the old Tutwiler Hall will be recycled and used for other projects. Tim Leppard, Vice President of Campus Development at the University of Alabama, says the new facility is something to look forward to. It's very appropriate that out of the dust of the old Tutwiler, the new Tutwiler is right there, so uh, we, we like that symbolism. And the new dorm will have nearly 1,300 beds, which is 300 more than the old dorm. Live and local in Tuscaloosa, Asher Red, WVUA 23 News. All right, Asher, thanks so much.